the discovery of the ability to enhance the body's repair systems and to rejuvenate the body has come out of aging research, but this could be applied to most diseases that I can even think of. We're going to target the eye glaucoma first, but that will pave the way for other rejuvenation processes, whether it's rebuilding a new liver, skin, spleen. You know, the, the sky's the limit at this point. Uh, we're only held back by our, our imagination and hopefully some, uh, some luck uh, along the way. So I don't, I don't yet think there's a limit. Uh, we'll see, of course. Uh, but given that result, I am optimistic that we're not just talking about helping fresh wounds or wounds that are not wounds, but diseases that have just begun. Uh, I, I think as long as the neurons are still intact and haven't died, then uh, we have every chance of reprogramming them to get back their youthful function. And it's been very successful. If we look histologically at the back of the eye when we treat it, those nerve cells that get the gene therapy um, almost always have the benefit. It's not that, oh, only 5% work. Literally every time a cell gets this treatment, it gets rejuvenated. And so I'm really optimistic if we can infect a large amount of the retina in humans, 30, 40, maybe 50%, then we should have a great chance of restoring vision. As to how long it lasts, uh, we've, we've gone out a few weeks, but we don't know if it's going to last for years. But one reason for optimism is that those, those chemical additions that I talked about, the DNA methylation, uh, what we're doing is we're stripping those away. And typically those changes last for decades. In fact, that, that's why the cell uses those methyl chemicals so that a cell in your brain that's programmed to be a nerve cell will stay a nerve cell for most of your lifespan. And so the, that's why I think that we're going to need one reset of the retina, an optic nerve. And then I presume the disease will come back. Maybe it'll be five, 10 years. And then it could be that your doctor prescribes you another round of the antibiotic that turns the genes on for three weeks. And then you get reset again. And we just, we don't yet know how many times you can reset the age of a complex tissue like the eye, but I don't see any theoretical reason why we couldn't do it many, many times. The good news is we have tested this treatment intravenously as well. And there's no sign of any toxicity, no sign of tumors at all after a year in mice at just blasting these genes for, instead of for three weeks, which we do in the eye, blasting it for a year. Uh, but I'm not keen on, on trying to find you know, a universal cure for aging at this point. I mean, theoretically, we could all go to my lab uh, and inject ourselves with this stuff and see what happens, but that would be kind of risky. So instead, our focus at the company, there's a company that I co-founded. It's called Iduna. Um, it's the name of the Greek goddess of, long not Greek, uh, Nordic goddess of longevity. At Iduna, we are... Uh, committed to treating glaucoma as the first disease. And uh, all of our experts, or almost all of our experts are, are expert in that. We are doing other studies um, in collaboration with uh, the mass eye and ear scientists that I mentioned uh, in diseases such as macular degeneration as well. And we have some early promising results there. But yeah, I mean, we're, we've been working on this now for 18 months and glaucoma, we're well, we're way ahead in our, in our research there.